We're two weeks away from this hacking incident involving the iPad 3G. There's more to the story than initially it, it appeared. You sort of broken it down uh, to three different groups, black hats, white hats, and gray hats. In the world of cybersecurity, it's um, it's essentially split into three groups. You've got these these guys, what they call white hats, and they're the, they're the good guys. And what they try to do is they try to find vulnerabilities in systems and then work with companies to try to fix them. And then you've got these guys that are what they call black hats, and they're really out there to, to get people's data and to do bad things. But now what we have is this, this kind of growing group that's been around for a long time, but it's, it's definitely more people called the gray hats and, and they don't really adhere to anything they kind of do what they want um, but they're not necessarily out to be malicious but they're not necessarily out to save the world and so the gray hats who um, who hacked AT&T they're called goat sea security is that my pronouncing that correctly yeah that's right and and what it is it's a it's a group of guys and um, you know we don't really know who they all are but but they uh, what they do is um, they, they try to follow, find vulnerabilities. And, and what they're saying is with the AT&T story um, is that they found this vulnerability on the AT&T website that exposed all these people's email addresses and this number called an ICC ID number, um, which is the, the identification number for your iPad or your cell phone or something. Um, and they said they didn't actually go public with it until they knew that AT&T had, um, had, had closed the loophole. So AT&T in response says that, that they're malicious hackers and that they... Uh, that they found the loophole before they were notified about it and that these people, uh, these ghost security guys were trying to distill all this information. And so we've kind of got this back and forth between who's right and who's wrong. But you seem, by, by dint of calling them gray hats, you seem to be, in essence, saying AT&T is wrong, that they're pure malicious hackers. In the story that I've been reporting, there's people in the community, in the security community, that have been saying uh, that they're not necessarily malicious hackers. They didn't really do anything wrong. They didn't put the data they found out there. They just gave it to a journalist at Gawker. And then there's other people that have said, well, maybe they should have. They shouldn't have gone about it the way that they did by um, by going to the press um, and, and getting these 114,000 email addresses that they did. So I, I get that there's a debate among you know super geeks uh, about how you you know crack various security yeah. codes. Yeah. Why should I care as an average internet user? Why you should care is because um, in the past when you have these security guys that, that stay quiet about it and work with companies until the vulnerability is fixed, um, it, that it means that nobody else really knows about it. So now where you have people that are saying, well, I'm just going to put it out there on the web and it's the company's um, problem to fix it. Um, you actually have more vulnerabilities that, that the people that could do you know malicious things um, on, online know about, uh, and so they could get email addresses, they can get credit card information, and things like that. And so it's kind of changing the dynamic a little bit. Can any of these guys figure out how you can make money off that video of your dog playing hockey on the iPad? That's a great question. I should I should ask them uh, and, and and see what they can figure out. I'm sure there's some sort of loophole on YouTube that, that we all don't know about where you can uh, you can make money from this stuff. I think right now you're very publicly asking them. We'll, <laughs> we'll see if you get an answer. Uh, cool. Nick, Nick, it's always a pleasure. You too. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye.